at just an inch under 30 feet long, roughly 6,700 pounds dry. If you've been looking for that rear bath travel trailer with all the luxury features of home, you're gonna love the Keystone Cougar 26 RBS. What's up, it's Chris Young, standing in the rear of this all new Keystone Cougar half ton, 26 RBS. And I just walked into the entry point. I wanted to kind of check out this area because this is a rear bath RV. You got your generation three in command system right here, which is awesome. Controls, you know, everything you need from lights to the awnings to the slides, and you can control it from the cell phone app as well. Across from that, you got storage behind solid wood shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures. I like this because this could be, sorry, Bobby, this could be either pantry or ward storage, as you can see with the ward bar. But hideaway hinges along with these solid wood cabinets really is a good calling card for quality manufacturing, which Keystone is known for. They're one of the top selling brands. They've been making RVs, travel trailers for like 25 years, and they know what they're doing. On the off-camp side, we have the rear bath portion of this 26 RBS. Good space on the porcelain uh, high-rise toilet here with the foot flush. I'm not cramped left or right, but standing up, you gotta be careful because you do have corner-mounted storage back here. That's what could potentially be a noggin knocker. So just watch out for that. Towel rack right there. Neo-angled shower with the glass enclosure. Fan of these because you you have the perception because it's angled that you have a little bit more room. So, I mean, I like this. I'm not cramped left or right or up or down. Plus I got the skylight in there helping me with light and headroom, brush nickel on my controls, single basin sink on my vanity there, which is undermounted, very nice touch. Got the brush nickel on the faucets and check out my medicine cabinet, good raised lips there as well. And some storage underneath. Bada bing, bada boom, a little tight for two people though come out you got the hyper deck flooring which is it's it's gonna be a little technical but it is a polypropylene laminated fiberglass just means it helps with moisture and temperature control because these are rated from zero to 100 degrees with the insulation that they have around them uh, plus the way they do the flooring the way they do the hvac system you got tough lock joints in the ducting for your furnace. You got a 35K BTU furnace in this, 15K BTU quiet running Coleman Mach AC. And you can, I have it running right now because I wanted you to hear it. When you open the quick cool dumps, that's as loud as it gets. So, I mean, these are truly, you know, quiet running ACs. Over here on the campsite, we got our entertainment center, frosty glass inlay in my cabinets right there. Hideaway, hinges, love it. TV on the swivel and retractable arm. I like that because you got storage behind it. A little hideaway storage. Plus you got the key TV multi-source connection. I got my Furion AM FM command center right there with CD, DVD player, the whole nine. Plus you got some little storage can probably be a good spot for some Girl Scout cookies. And the Inno Flame 4700 BTU fireplace right there. Multiple flame settings, multiple light settings, does a really good job of knocking the heat off the air. You got 15K on the AC, 35 on the furnace, 47 right there. You're gonna be okay on HVAC. I am currently sitting in these comfy, plush pillow top recliners that have massage, they have heat, they got LED light, surrounded by large panoramic windows with wood balances, right beside my booth dinette, which has storage underneath the seats, and that reduces down into a sleeper. Beautiful. No carpet in the slides as well. Mushroom lights. Got a 10 cubic foot Norcold fridge freezer combo that runs on 12 volt. Right. Chow. Look at the space you got. The adjustable shelves. That'll do you good for the uh, long weekend getaways. Plus it has the quiet run. So if you do have people sleeping in here at night, you hit that. It'll reduce the compressor speed by 50%, making it quieter, giving people a good night's sleep. Then after eight hours, cuts off. Got the flush mounted three burner Fury and range right here. I like this. Little LED accent light, the grill style grates. My large oven, I believe it's a 21 incher right there. Plus you got the pressed surface countertops, my undermounted stainless steel sink, 50-50 split. Dig it, high rise faucet with the sprayer. I like the angling that we have here because I can put stuff 
over here for storage or my cleaning supplies or whatever. I got, I can make this my coffee station because I got GFCI and USB if I need to charge my cell phone. A little spice rack. And you got this rustic, almost uh, chalet style decor in here with the distressed, this ivory, these ivory cabinets, so nice. Coastal cottage themed. I, I'm just a fan of it. Flush mounted microwave storage underneath. Plus I got me a drawer down here. And I got me some drawers over here. There you go. Solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. Plus you got the brush nickel fixture there. Got me a little pocket door leading me into my master with a uh, big old bed. Is this king size? Yes, yeah, a king size bed. Haha, <laughs> dig it. Strut supported storage underneath. Plus I got me a access point to the master bedroom so that if you do have people staying with you you want to come and go as you please you got that option right there on both sides i got nightstand with dual usb and 110 mirrored wardrobe closet frosted glass inlay i mean tv mountain bracket key tv connection that's all sounding good my favorite part right there the privacy window that is inlaid in the front cap here. I love that because it, it is one way. We can see them, but they can't see us, which is beautiful. And if you want to pull up to the mountains, the, the lake, the whatever, you want to enjoy the sunrise or the sunset, that's the way to do it. So we've seen the inside of this beautiful Keystone Cougar 26 RBS. What do you say we go take a peek at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Keystone Cougar half ton 26 rbs take a look at this beautiful front cap right here you got that privacy window right there the automotive coating those running lights you got the mini diamond plated rock guard all sitting on top of a single piece reinforced frame really does a good job supporting this coach battery box right there twin 30 pound lp tanks which is a nice upgrade plus you got your lci powered tongue jack right here with light for additional safety and security while setting up and you do have some powered jacks down there. You got the ground control, and I'll show you how we operate that over there on the other side. Those are not just stabilizers, those are leveling jacks, which is a fantastic feature to have on the travel trailer. Magnetic anti-slam doors on your storage, plus we are set up for the Furion side vision, a great safety feature if you wanna get it. Finished off and lit pass-through storage, plus we got a heated and enclosed underbelly on this one. Watch your head there, Robert. Large awning spanning almost the entire length of the campsite here with LED light strip, adjustable arm. There's my steel fold up steps leading me into the master bedroom. External shower with hot and cold. I got the key TV multi-source connection out here as well. So if you wanna set up some outside entertainment, you can cover those back up. Get the external speakers. And I gotta tell you, when it comes to outside kitchens, I've seen a lot of configurations. But when I see one that has the Capitol Grill, I get happy because this is a radiant burner. Look at the cooking space that you have on this. It's not just two burners, you know, or like three little burners. This is all space, burgers, steaks, whatever you wanna do. Uh, I'm a big fan of these Capitol Grills. Plus with the external kitchen, just slide it in. Got your hot point fridge, little storage compartment right there. Magnetic anti-slam. Close that all right above those beautiful aluminum rims with the Dexter Easy Lube axles and that berth down there. Let me tell you, that, that suspension system that Keystone puts on their travel trailers really does a good job of absorbing the shock while going down the road. Main entry point right here with the solid step over steps leading into it. Extra large grab handle, four by four sewer hose storage right there on the back. Plus I got my key TV multi-source connection. This is the cable or uh, excuse me, this is the satellite connection, which is set up on the roof, but there you go. You can just plug that in. And what's cool about the key TV, is no matter what you plug in, the wall outlets are gonna be smart and they're gonna know which one's working and which one isn't. Ladder mounted on the back, spare tire mounted on the back, plus you got your two inch hitch, 300 pound capacity on that one. And those arch ceilings right there with the three inch rubber nozzles, look at the arch. That's what gives us that nice barrel style ceiling on the inside. Having that really make sure the rain and the snow does not stay on top of that fully walkable roof. Got your 50 amp service connection plug right there. And right underneath, Bobby, are our terminations. Now, this one has a 60 gallon fresh, 60 gallon gray, 
30 gallon black tank. Add that to the fact that you got pre-wired for solar, insulation rated zero to 100, large tanks. This could go off grid. I mean, that's, that, that's pretty good space and storage. Docking station for my external water connections. In there, you would find your fresh tank, uh, your city water connection, plus your black tank flush, and a little external shower. If you got your 10 amp quick connect panels, you could plug those in right there. We are pre-wired. The other side of our pass-through storage, which you can see right here on the box, look at this, electronic leveling, yes. You got the Lippert ground control electronic leveling on this one, the auto leveling. Just cut it on. If it's in error, it'll tell you. And when you're ready to auto level, you just hit auto level and boom, you are off and running. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. Unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 6520. Gross vehicle weight, 8,800. Now with this unit, you know, being 35 feet long, Roughly 6,500 pounds dry, depending on the configuration, can sleep six people. Um, if that's what you're looking for, those features, those amenities, I gotta tell you, man, the Keystone Cougar half tons are great. Lightweight, ton of features. They got electronic leveling on this one. You can't beat it. This 26 RBS should be at the top of your list if you're looking for a rear bath travel trailer. Um, but take that information back to your specialist at Camper Ward and Gander and say, hey, here's what I can tow. Here's where I'm gonna go camping. Here's how many people I need to sleep. That's really what's gonna help us guide you down the path of finding the right RV for you. But do me a favor, leave me some comments down below. Let me know, what'd you think about the 26 RBS? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I mean, I'd change a couple of things, but not really that much. I think it's a great unit. Uh, and please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. Hope you enjoyed the Keystone Cougar. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Until then, come check out an RV, man, because they're fun. I'll see you.